Hi, today we're going to look at doing a little painting and we're going to use some cling film and salt techniques. Cling film and salt is really good fun. You never know quite what you're going to get and how it's going to work. I thought we'd look at a little group of fungus, little um, toadstools with the red ones with the white spots on, which you usually find nestling underneath trees in leaf litter. So we're going to do the outside and the background of this area just to show you how to get some effects for the leaf litter and a little bit of the background to it. I've already drawn out the toadstool shape. Um, I've put three little cluster of three together and I've put some masking fluid on the tops here for where the little white spots on the uh, red tops of these toadstools are going to come in the end. I've just put a little sweep round here, nice little smiley face for where the tree trunks are going to come down into the base. So with that now we're going to start putting some colours onto there. Because we're going to use salt and cling film, you need to make sure you've got these ready and waiting to put in there. These effects have to be done while everything is still soaking wet, so I shall put them there ready and waiting. Um, first of all, we're going to do the, the base part and putting the cling film onto that. I've pre-mixed some colours up. These can be whatever you like, but I've used a little burnt umber and ultramarine blue to give me a grey shade for the tree trunks. Um, and then all sorts of different colour browns and greens for the base down the bottom here. So I'm going to start off by wetting the area I want to work in now. So nice and wet, using a nice big mop brush, plenty of water. I'm using Bockingford paper, which stays nice and wet for quite a long time. So we need to keep it glossy wet at this stage. Carefully in between the little parts of the stalks of the toadstools. And then nice and wet off the edges of where you're going to paint so that the water can run away to different areas. So once that's nice and glossy wet there, just up the sides as well, we can start thinking about where the paint is going to go. There we go. So swap to a nice big brush. Just wet that, a little bit of tissue. And we're going to very quickly put the paint on here. It has to be done quickly because the cling film has to go on before the paint starts to dry. So it's a few streaks of paint down the sides here. This is a little bit of um, ultramarine blue and burnt umber mixed. Just coming in down there. Make it fairly random. Get the strength varying slightly down the edges. And then it will go into perhaps a little bit of nice bright green for where some moss is coming in, perhaps around the bottom here, up the sides there. Always paint off the area that you intend to go off the sides of the paper. Get a little splodge of that in different places as well. And then on to some other bright colours, perhaps a little bit of burnt sienna. Getting quite strong with some of these paints, a little bit too strong. So just clean the brush and lift that out. Uh, a little bit of burnt sienna over this side. And perhaps a bit of yellow ochre, nice golden autumny colour. Just carefully in between those. And keeping this all nice and wet as you work. A little bit of burnt umber perhaps as well, giving some random patches for other bits of leaves coming into the area down the bottom here. So now I've got all those on, they're still nice and wet. And very quickly I'm going to put the cling film on. It's quite a technique. You're not going to put it on so it's stretched like you're wrapping cheese up. You're just going to let it fall into its natural crinkles and just gently lie it on there. You can sort of guide it so it's going up one way for the tree trunks and a little bit more gathered for around where the leaves are going to go. And a bit on this side as well. So we're going to do the same on this side. Up the tree trunk, across the base and across the leaf litter at the bottom there. Just once you've got it on there, just tap it down very gently and you can start to see these patterns and shapes forming. It does need to dry, but what we can do is peel it back at this stage and do the sky area so that it can all dry at the same time. So I'm just going to keep this nice and firmly on here, but just peel it back around the edges so it can start to go and turn round board and do the other part of it. So I'm just going to turn it round now and then we can start working on the other side. Put a bit of tape down to hold it down. Now. 
OK, so that has to dry naturally, but we can work on another area while that's drying. So we're going to look at the sky area, and for this sky area we want to give a bit of sparkle, a bit of magic to it, so we're going to use a bit of salt onto it. Again, this has to go on while it's soaking wet. Salt effect works with how wet your paint is, the colours you use, and the type of salt you use. If you use ordinary table salt, that's just too fine. You've got, you, you'll get very, very fine little sparkles. You'll barely notice them. The rock salt, the, the um, big salt crystals, are usually too big for this type of thing, unless you're doing a really big piece of paper. But I find coarse ground salt is just perfect for this. So what we're going to do is a similar sort of thing. I've mixed up some colours. I'm going to use ultramarine blue and a touch of Elysian crimson to give me a nice, rich, purpley colour. And then we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to wet the areas we're going to work in and, um, and then put the paint onto it and immediately put the salt into it. So we're going to wet around this area, carefully not going underneath the cling film because that's keeping the shape of the little leaves and things down the bottom there so again wetting off the area I'm going to work in keep it nice and wet around these bits paint always flows to where you've put water so if you've got a nice neat edge it should flow up to that nice neat edge um, but then it will run off to try and find the edges of the water further off your picture so take your pick the water further away than you think you're going to need it so that the paint can run off naturally. I'll just do these little bits underneath so they're all wet at the same time, although I'll come back and fiddle though with those afterwards. So that's around those. I might need to re-wet those little bits, but we'll see how we go. Right, so now that's all nice and glossy wet again. Into the paint, mix nice and strong with that one. And we're going to start from the top, carefully putting that paint in around the edges, up around the sides of the little toadstools here, bringing it across. If it's nice and wet like this, it should all blend and flow together to give you a smooth finished wash. But try and work gradually across your paper and down. And then the same on this side, getting the bits to join together across and down. And again, off the area that you're working with, just so the paint flows out properly. A little bit underneath these, they're still nice and wet on here, so we can just put those little bits in as well. And a little bit on this side. Just so they all match with the colour. I'm just going to take these little surplus puddles off the end here. And then we're going to put a pinch of salt onto this. Now, with the salt, you want 20 grains. Not 30, not 50, but about 20 grains, or just about a quarter of a turn with this. If you start going, shh, shh, oh, it's not doing anything, you find you haven't got any paint left. It, the, the salt has absorbed everything by the end of it. Um, so just about 20 grains, and again, just a few more there, um, leave it to dry naturally. This should all be nice and dry now. It's been left for a little while just to dry naturally. And you can always test your cling film to make sure it's actually dried properly just by peeling an edge off. And if the colour doesn't move, which this isn't, luckily, we can actually take it all off and see this lovely patterning we've got just below here. Um, the salt also will just brush off, will just fall off as well. And here we have a finished version. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've learnt a few things and I hope to see you next time.